So the workshop that we're doing today is all about getting the students to look at the place standard. Okay, so well, it's your call. Where do you think we yeah. should go? I think it would be nice if there was more grass in town for people to, like, on days like this, to come out and bring a blanket. There's no yeah, because the concrete really? would be, like, rust and what to, like, sit on and, like... Yeah, yeah it's so. only good in parts. So five, yeah. four? Five. And um, we mainly come in here to the retail park in Gala. So, like, Costa, um, New Look. For, like, kind of teenage girls to, like, buy their clothes. It is where a lot of people do most of their shopping and stuff. Well, a lot could be done to improve the way it looks. Mm. I'd uh, give it like a... Two, two or three? Yeah, two or three. Uh, two. Yeah. It has a lot of big brand chains rather than more independent things. So you can order something online and then you can pick it up here, which is adds to the convenience factor. However, it hurts the local economy. So what do you think about the way traffic moves around Gala? I think the way traffic moves in Gala is okay because you get like real good drivers and but there's some drivers that like races are in Gala about 40, 50 mile an hour. In Edinburgh, they've changed their speed limit to 20 mile an hour around some parts. So is there anything like Pelican Crossings or anything that we could put in to help? No, I think there's enough of that. Uh -oh, I think this will be shot. Me and my friend Gilbert, we uh, volunteer to help uh, put the flags up for the, the gala day, for the common riding. Uh, I've lived in gala shows all my life and I'm quite proud of my town. Traffic here in Scott Street is really busy. Yeah, a 20 mile zone would be, would be ideal. There's a lot of kids coming from the school, the primary school, and uh, it's a really busy road and the sat nav actually brings a lot of people this way. The bus stop I usually wait at is the one on Bank Street Gardens, so it's like a lovely little bus stop. It's kind of situated at the top of the gardens, underneath the blossom trees, and they're really nice in the spring because they're always pink, and there's like a blizzard of blossom that comes across the gardens. Seeing up there, it says it's for the Flying Scotsman's visit, so I think the Queen was on that train. There's your uncle as well. I'd say for this bit, yeah, around six or seven. What would you say, James? Yeah, I'd say six or seven. I'd say seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. I feel really unsafe in one of the alleyways in Gala. It's right in the middle of the town, and it's really dark. There's no street lights. So it's normally okay during the day, but there is a pub halfway up, so it can feel really uncomfortable because you never know who's going to come out of there, whether they're going to be like a happy drunk or a violent drunk, or maybe have it better policed and just put some street lights and CCTV up. Do I feel able to take part in decisions and help change things for the better? Do you feel like it? No, not really. Not really, because like, we don't... And it's a bit because it doesn't yeah. matter what we say, like, none really gets done. Our generation aren't, they don't put up with, they don't put up with things. Yeah. You know, if something's not right, they will get it changed. Yeah. What's been really good is to see the level of participation and confidence building, because these students are of different abilities and different ages, and James was brilliant today. He was very conversant with the equipment, very confident about it and seemed to enjoy it very, very much and it's been a major, major boost to his self-esteem, confidence and participation and we can take that into the classroom and that will help develop the skills that are required for uh, his future.